another Kobe releasing on April 13th, the Nike Kobe 6 Pro Tro Italian Camo. The Italian Camo um, set the release on April 13th as well, alongside with the, all the others. Another Kobe 6. This is the third Kobe 6 I can think of, because we had the Grinch, the Reverse Grinch, and then these bad boys. I don't think there's any other six Pro Tros that I can think of off the top of my head. Correction, the GGs, the GGs, the GGs. I'm trying to see if there's anything else. I'm just looking. Maybe there are some other ones out there that I'm just not thinking off the top of my head, but they're the GGs, the Reverse Grinches, the Grinches, a couple of those out there. But bam, we have the Italian camos, which pays tribute to the heritage of Nike basketball, Italian, Italy. Um, Kobe Bryant's father played for Italy at one point. Kobe lived in Italy at one point. Hence, he learned a lot of his uh, soccer skills out there as well. And I believe Kobe was very fluent in, um, in Italian as well like he, he knew how to speak it so he paid a little bit of a tribute with that you know kobe was initially born in philly but he lived a long time in italy so i think that this is the inspiration that homage to italy uh, and the camo that was brought along with it i think it's overall a very solid shoe initially releasing back in 2011 i want to say with this one and we will be seeing this one come back in full force moving into um 2024. As far as when it comes to the Venices, the Phillies, and the Italian camos, I've seen that these had the more bigger resale value, which we hints to being more of a demand and hints to being more of a shoe that may more than likely sell out the fastest. I think they're all going to do phenomenal, but I think this one will be the one that's going to be the bigger one for people out there. Um, a lot of the fact is uh, the Kobe 6, the actual model, is a lot of people's favorites. It's a fan favorite. The 8s are nice. The 7s are nice. Don't get me wrong, but the 6 has always been for a lot of people's favorites, hence the Grinch, Reverse Grinch. A lot of the 6s are still to this day people's favorites out there as far as the look you know when it comes to the kobe's and its pro tro line they pretty much nail it spot on with the colors previous grinches were a little bit more vibrant than the original grinches but for the most part they do a very good job at bringing that same overall look and aesthetic and don't switch up much about the shoe now the fact that this is a pro tro and i'll do my diligence my due diligence and the research to figure out what they actually change because the pro tro's line is all about progressing and not just a retro it's not that's why it's not called a retro because a retro is bringing back its look in an original form the pro tro line tries to change things so that it's the original colorway the original shoe but they want to make it fashion but moving forward and Aesthetically, the look, but the the technology and the, the shoe itself has newer parts in it um, that push for that innovation for footwear into the basketball and all that. Now, um, I noticed they got the Venom on the front here, too, which other ones do as well. But now I kind of know because there's a Venom line, which is basically like Kobe soldier line, how LeBron has the soldier version and Team Jordan. The Venom line, Venom, 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 I'm probably saying it wrong, but Kobe had his own line with that of sneakers that were cheaper Kobe's, but more affordable, but also very good built well. And I just noticed that was put there. Uh, I noticed it also on the Grinches, but I'm wondering if that's when it started. Feel free to let me know about that line in particular. And I'm looking right now, like I'm looking at an old article from Sneaker, uh, Sneaker News from 2010, Nike Zoom Kobe, leaked images so i'm thinking that the kobe 6 started that 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 like venom line like i stated before the nike zoom kobe venom venom i can't bro just forgive me okay a takedown version of this year's signature kobe 6. so yes this was the beginning of that line and that's why that was there something i just remembered but you got the signature on the back Italian camo, really nice, real real sexy. I like this shoe overall. Um, I love the Kobe Grinch. This is uh, still my favorite, but I do think that this is something you can rock with pretty much anything. And the colors itself, the browns, the blacks, just look very, very nice. So definitely one in the collection for, for me. Definitely one we're gonna drop a full on in-depth review on. This one though, uh, there's the Jumpman Jacks are dropping this year, don't get me wrong, but I think that these are gonna be top three releases 
of April, at least top three. So stay tuned for these bad boys right here. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. As always, I love y'all, I appreciate y'all, and I will see y'all probably at the end of this week. I gotta get to it and get on um, reconstruction of this whole entire space. I'm looking forward to it, but it's gonna be a long process. I love y'all as always, I'm out, peace.